Are you looking for a Smartsheet KPI dashboard? Well, if that's the case, then you've come to the right place because today I'm gonna to be sharing with you a couple of different examples and what you can look to build. So whether you're not quite sure what you need to include on your KPI dashboard or whether you just want some examples or what's even possible, then we're gonna be covering it all. Before we get started, I do just want to quickly mention that I have released a Smartsheet dashboard training course. Uh, and this will teach you how to build these kind of dashboards, really, really kind of effective and impactful visual dashboards um, that you can build very, very quickly and efficiently. They'll all be automated and you'll also learn how to completely optimize your kind of account data as well. There's a lot of other um, valuable insights in this training. It's not just about Smartsheet dashboards, um, but I have released this course um, and I would really, really recommend that you kind of sign up if you're looking to truly leverage the power of dashboards in Smartsheet. So I, I just wanted to mention this. There will be a link in the description if you want to head over there and take a look. But back to our Smartsheet KPI dashboard. So I'm going to be sharing you three different examples, um, varying depending on the context. I do just want to run through this kind of bit at the top here um, just to briefly explain um, some of the things you may want to think about if you are building uh, a KPI dashboard. So you're probably already aware what key performance indicators or KPIs are, but if you're not, I just want to touch upon them. So they essentially enable you to optimize your organization's most valuable asset and major expense, so employees. Um, and it's a business metric and it's used to evaluate, evaluate factors that are crucial to the success of an organization. So that's one key and essential thing here, that KPIs differ per organization. It depends on the projects, it depends on what you're looking to monitor and track, but ultimately, they must impact your business's bottom line. So if you're not quite sure what KPIs to include, then just consider this kind of bit I've put in red here. It's something that will impact your business's bottom line. Now, a dashboard is an efficient way in kind of showing that um, and how your team is progressing relative to your specific object objectives and business processes and performances. So they're, and of, often uh, KPI dashboards uh, developed in relation to either human resources, sales progress, marketing, or production goals. And I'm gonna be looking at, or I'm gonna be sharing with you, a Smartsheet Cash KPI dashboard for human resources, sales progress, and marketing below. Um, now, performance management will be much easier when you use KPI dashboards, and you can also, you should also be able to look at historical trends uh, as well as where you currently are. And it essentially enables you to make informed decisions with real impact. Um, and it's a window into all of your work. Dashboard designs, as I kind of said already, will be unique because it obviously depends on the needs and the culture of the organization and flexibi flexibility and customization are essential for these kind of dashboards. Now, the, the five elements of an effective dashboard are they're easy to read and understand, easy to update. They can store current status snapshots and historical trends. They're aligned to best practices and they are constructed to enable decisions to be made quickly and at a glance. So just wanted to run through that. I'm sorry if this has kind of gone on longer than you were expecting, but I just wanted to give you that overview. And now I will be running through some of those examples. I think it's important to bear this in mind before we look at these examples. So the first one I've created here is a business budget overview. So here you can see quickly the total cost of a project against the budget and obviously the cost balance as well. And you can see the progress here, you can see what the balance remaining is against the year to date actual. And you'll see here, it's also broken down by department. So these are, in terms of a dashboard, these are metric uh, widgets. Uh, and these are, this is obviously a chart widget. Uh, this one's a chart widget as well. This one is a, um, the, I'm trying to think what it's called now. It's a specific chart widget, um, if I open it up. Um, okay, it's not going to let me, but you can find that via the chart functionality. Uh, we've also got a report here, which gives you the actuals by department, so and and also by month, so you can check uh, you can check the monthly performance of each department. Um, so very very useful. You can see who's kind of over budget, who's kind of reaching their budget, etc. So this is an example of a of a budget uh, KPI dashboard, and obviously all of this is built um, with underlying data sheets, um, and that's something that my my Smartsheet training course covers in great depth uh, how you kind of set up these underlying sheets to kind of provide the data to, to, to enable you to create these kind of graphs. 
The next one we're looking at here is a marketing technology management dashboard. And here you have, again, you've got your kind of financials on the left-hand side. You've got things like your annual spend, agreements, um, what's currently being negotiated. You've got shortcuts through to various different aspects of data or sheets that may need to be kind of altered by stakeholders. You've got an overview of tools by category, a spend by tool category as well. Um, and then you've also got this, this bit's kind of crucial here, you've got a report on the critical open tickets. So you can see quickly, and as I've kind of mentioned before at a glance, um, some of the tickets that are kind of being worked on and who they're assigned to and, and things like that. And then you've obviously got on here, you've got some metrics, which give you an overview of critical of, of those critical open tickets. Um, it's just obviously a high value number, so you wouldn't need to count them all. Um, the total that they're open, um, and then how many have been resolved. And you can set up your dashboard so that when you click this, it go, kind of goes through to the, un, to the underlying data sheet, uh, and you can see all of these requests in more detail. Maybe you've got more columns than this, or maybe you need someone to go into them. So that's that one. Next, we have a cost tracking dashboard. So in this example, you've got obviously a description at the top um, where it basically mentions that it's it's enabling us to track and manage incoming requests for business reimbursements. Um, and yeah, it's got that kind of, um, that should be a glance, obviously, um, that's a misspelling, but you get the idea what this is trying to do. And I, I like this dashboard. So if you're looking for some inspiration, kind of keep watching this one because this one's very, very in depth. Um, these ones are obviously very high level, but you'll see as I kind of scroll through these, um, you've got probably a bit more in depth KPIs. So you've, you've kind of got an approved and decline on the left hand side. So there's your financials that are obviously coming into play here. Um, you've got a, a pie ch or a donut, I should say, a chart here, which is just breaking down those expenses. So giving that glance of you know where you're at, helpful links if you wanted to go through. You've got some analysis here. So you know the average day um, for each kind of uh, uh, aspect to be reviewed. Um, total vendors, um, and then you've got a report here on expenditures that are pending re approval. So depending on who's accessing this dashboard, they may need to come in here and check what's you know what, what needs to be done. Um, you've got a cost data by cost category. So here I'm kind of illustrating the various different chart functionalities and what you, some of the things you could show. So here we've got a breakdown of the total expense um, by cost category. So here you can quickly see that personnel obviously is costing the most. Um, and you can see how many requests are kind of um, coming in for each one here. That's obviously a, a multi-level um, report. It's, it's, you've got various different factors being analyzed here. Here you've got the kind of approved um, cost categories and the decline. So it's just a really visual representation of, of, that, of your underlying data. And, you, and as I say, it's about coming in here and quickly getting an understanding of where you're at. You know, these are great for, for uh, senior management who don't want to look at the underlying data. Here you really get into the nitty gritty. So uh, in terms of the KPIs and looking at your employees, this is where you kind of get a good idea of, of what's currently happening. So we've got an hour breakdown, we've got a total cost breakdown, and it's looking at the personnel in particular. We're looking at total hours here, um, which is obviously very, very important if you've if you're, uh, got con contractors or anyone who's kind of working on an hourly rate. Um, and then we've also got a, some cost data by department. So here you can see um, the total expense uh, request by department. So we, we've obviously broken this down into various different departments here. And obviously you can quickly see which ones are causing are costing us the most. Uh, you've also got that kind of co uh, cross analysis. So not just can we see their total cost, we can see what's been approved and what's been declined as well. And then obviously you've got a further breakdown on the right into this. So that's a, a great idea for some of your dashboards, have the kind of high level. And then if they need further breaking down, kind of do that on the right hand side here. Um, that's obviously a good way to illustrate it. Um, and, and you've obviously got these kind of um, titles at the top, which kind of break everything up. So that's one thing I haven't kind of mentioned so far. So so what I've done here in, in terms of breaking these up is I've put some dividers in, in between the dashboards, which can be great for kind of separating data. Um, we've got our kind of uh, heading titles as well. And then I've also got these kind of separators that I've just set up to, to, to separate individual aspects of a dashboard. And then you've got these headings as well, which just kind of, draw your eyes and just show you exactly what's going to follow underneath. Um, 
So that pretty much are, is, well, the three different KPI dashboards that I just wanted to share with you today. As you can see, they're all very, very different. Some of these may be useful for your organization, but as I've said kind of throughout this and, and particularly at the start, what you want to track will ultimately depend on your organization, the type of projects you're running and, and what you need to kind of analyze and show. So do bear that in mind. Uh, maybe even pause this video and kind of review this uh, section here when, if you're still coming up with your KPIs and, if you just want to build dashboards like this, or you want to learn you know, exactly what you need to do to optimize data, then as I say, get over to my Smartsheet dashboard training and sign up. Um, and that will really, really help you build these kind of dashboards out. So with all of that said, I hope this video is useful. Please do hit the like button if it was, that tells me I should continue making videos like this uh, and do consider subscribing to my channel. You, you may even want to consider subscribing to my channel and, and even heading over there now. Um, I've got plenty of videos on Smartsheet, I think over, must be around 70 at time of recording. So if you're new to the tool, um, then that's where I would recommend you go. Um, you can learn all, learn loads about the different aspects of Smartsheet, the functionality available and how to make the most out, out of it for your organization. So with all of that said, I hope you have an excellent day.